so we are just finishing putting up the Euro Hike Buckingham 8 Elite tent and I'm going to give you a little tour of what it's like inside. So it's an eight-man tent. Um, inside you've got a central like communal living area and on either side you've got the bedroom compartments which look like that and as you can see along the top there they um, fit in individually so they're separate from the main tent and ground sheet. We are going to use one of the pods as the adult bedroom so we've taken out the central compartment and turned into one large bedroom. So we've got a double air mattress in there which actually has an integrated foot pump which is really useful it means you don't have to worry about remembering to fit your own pump in and at either side it's got these little compartments for popping um, you know your phone in overnight or anything else that you need to keep close by and these are also blacked out so they will stay darker for longer in the mornings so hopefully you might get a bit of a line if you're camping with kids and on the other side we have used the bedroom with the central privacy curtain up to give the kids two bedrooms and they both zip up individually um, and with the doors the top parts have got a ventilation curtain and also if you can see at the bottom there um, it has like a bathtub lip so you have to step over to get into it which means you're less likely to get insects and that kind of thing in there as long as you keep it zipped up so the tent has two entrances that's the back entrance and that is the front entrance and next to each entrance there is a window which can be closed or open so you can have them either half open like that if you want a bit of privacy or you can have them fully open um, and then these fold down another nice feature of this tent is the extra storage here so we've got stuff like sun cream and a torch in there and then as with the bedrooms the doors you can either have open or with this privacy curtain here then there's an elasticated seam all the way around the outside which protects the zips which means that even if you're in torrential rain you won't be getting wet we've also got a euro hike camping cupboard here which means that we can just store anything useful that we need clothes etc that we just want to be able to grab quick access to just helps to keep your tents a little bit tidier so you're not having all your bags and rucksacks everywhere and then down here if you were staying at a campsite with an electric hookup that's what this is for so you would have your cables coming in here although obviously we don't have that at the moment so although there's only four of us staying here we've got plenty of room and you could easily have two people staying in each side of the bedrooms so it could be useful for big families, people that are going away for longer and just want extra storage space, you know, if you weren't using one of the bedrooms you could put bikes, buggies, all that kind of thing in there. So Sam's just finishing off the guy ropes here. Um, the tent took us about 15 minutes to put up, um, and considering it was the first time we've ever put it up and we had to kind of have a quick read through the instructions at the start, it is pretty good. Um, I'll just show you quickly, you can see that these are colour coded so inside the pole is blue as well in there so you've got three different coloured poles they're all slightly different lengths to give you the nice arced effect and they are easy enough to use I'm just going to do you a little tour around the outside um, we've actually put some solar powered bulbs up so they will light up later on when it gets dark um, so at the end of each tent where the bedrooms are you've got extra ventilation And then, although we're using this as the back of the tent, this rolled up part here either comes down and completely covers the door for privacy, um, and you can also use the two poles that come with the tent to use it as a canopy so it would come up here. But we're going to be using the outside of the tent as the front, so we've not bothered with that, with just leaving it open for extra ventilation. And over here, this is our cooking setup. So we've got a camping gas stove which came from Millets and that has got two hobs 
and a grill underneath that just attaches down to a gas canister there. Um, and then we've got all our bits and bobs in there. We've got our camping mug and all of our various bits of things, including some new uh, mess tins there. And then for our little chill out area, we've got moon chairs for the adults and little animal chairs for the kids. And then later on, we will be having a fire pit. We've got loads of logs there and we'll be using that for our fire pit.